But what bums me out is to know that a lot of kids today are just wishing to be happy, to be healthy, to be safe, not bullied, and be loved for who they are. So it seems to me when adults say, what do you want to be when you grow up? They just assume that you'll automatically be happy and healthy. But maybe that's not the case. Go to school, go to college, get a job, get married, boom. Then you'll be happy, right? We don't seem to make learning how to be happy and healthy a priority in our schools. It's separate from schools. And for some kids, it doesn't exist at all. But what if we didn't make it separate? What if we based education on the study and practice of being happy and healthy? Because that's what it is, a practice, and a simple practice at that. Education is important, but why is being happy and healthy not considered education? I just don't get it. So I've been studying the science of being happy and healthy. It really comes down to practicing these eight things. Exercise, diet, nutrition, time in nature, contribution, service to others, relationships, recreation, relaxation and stress management, and religious or spiritual involvement. Yes, got that one. Um, <laughs> so these eight things come from Dr. Roger Walsh. He calls them therapeutic lifestyle changes, or TLCs for short. He's a scientist that studies how to be happy and healthy. In researching this talk, I got a chance to ask him a few questions like, do you think that our schools today are making these eight TLCs a priority? His response was no surprise. It was essentially no. But he did say that many people do try to get this kind of education outside of the traditional arena through reading and practices such as meditation or yoga. But what I thought was his best response was that much of education is oriented, for better or worse, towards making a living rather than making a life. 